Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a lip swatch video on the new MAC Retro Matte Lip Color, aka their new liquid lipsticks, which everyone has been asking me, what do I think of them? I did try a few colors. Actually, I'll link the video that I did wearing one of the color for 10 hours. So if you want to see them, how they really uh, react throughout the day after eating, after drinking, you can just watch this video and you will see in detail. I feel like a lot of people think MAC was a little bit late to the game of liquid lipsticks, but better late than never. The formula is actually pretty good, but I do have to say the lighter shades like the one I'm wearing right now, as they dry, they tend to crack a little bit more and they tend to crumble a little bit too. Even some of the darker shades, if you apply too thick of a layer, they can tend to crumble a little bit. However, I do think as a whole, the line is actually pretty good. There's not anything crazy color-wise, and I do have to say the packaging doesn't necessarily impress me. I expect a lot more from MAC because, I don't know, it's MAC, you do expect fun colors, fun packaging, and this is just like the, the average uh, cap from their lipstick. As you can see, it's like basically the exact same thing with the color underneath. I personally really like the applicator because it is flat on both sides, but at the same time there's a little bit of a hole in the middle so the product can be there. And it just applies a great amount of product and I love that the tip is actually pretty pointy. If you have thin lips or a sharp cupid's bow, I feel like it's really nice to use. The price is actually not too bad. In the US they are $20 and in Canada they're $24. I believe in Europe they're a little pricier, around €21, Euro, which makes them not necessarily as worth it. I think you could find something similar for cheaper, but for America it's not that bad. A lot of these shades do remind me of some a permanent lipstick from their line, the one that I'm wearing right now. Kind of looks like Candy Yum Yum. Uh, the other ones. I did mention my other video. Oh Lady kind of reminds me of Ho, which is a limited edition shade that is currently in their goodbye list, so check it out. Too Matte To Love looks a lot like All Fired Up, and then Taylor To Tease looks a little bit like uh, Flat Up Fabulous mixed with the lip liner uh, Magenta. My favorites are basically the ones that I owned before doing this video. When I did the other video, I had three colors. I had Too Matte To Love, I had Taylor To Tease, and I had Ho Lady, which by the way, this is a color, not Old Lady, I know I pronounce H is wrong, but O. Oh. Oh, lady, <laughs> that one is the color that I think everyone needs to buy, like ends down the best formula too. I think it's great. And if you're looking for a nude, my favorite one has to be uh, Lady Be Good. I think this is a great nude that would work for a lot of different skin tones. By the way, I've been trying to decide if they smell like something and I personally can't smell anything. The formula dries in between 30 to 2 minutes depending on the color. I just applied this and you will see in like 2 seconds it's going to be dry. They're comfortable on the lips for around 6 to 8 hours depending on the colors and I can eat twice without having to reapply right away. And if you want to touch up, they're actually pretty easy to touch up without having like cakiness or something. You can see it's already pretty matte and it's been like 30 seconds. <laughs> the two colors that I feel are the most uneven on your lips would be the lightest one and the darkest one. So Mademoiselle and Hydra. are so similar like I can't even decide which one to swatch first. So if I 
fashion legacy is apparently the latest one. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments which colors you think you need in your collection. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss any future video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!